Welcome to our exploration of the fascinating world of learning and behavior. Today, we're diving into two cornerstone concepts in psychology respondent and operant conditioning. These principles explain how we learn from our environment and shape our actions, influencing everything from simple reflexes to complex decision making. Through examples and insights, we'll unravel the differences between these types of conditioning and see how they apply to everyday life. Get ready to unlock the secrets of how behaviors are formed and changed, enhancing your understanding of the human mind and behavior. Respondent conditioning, also known as classical conditioning, is a learning process first described by Ivan Pavlov. It occurs when a neutral stimulus becomes associated with an unconditioned stimulus to elicit a conditioned response. In respondent conditioning, the behavior is elicited automatically by the stimulus without the organism having to act on the environment. Examples of respondent conditioning Pavlov's dogs in Pavlov's classic experiment, dogs learn to salivate conditioned response at the sound of a bell. Conditioned stimulus, when the bell had been repeatedly paired with the presentation of food, unconditioned stimulus which naturally elicited salivation, unconditioned response. Examples of respondent conditioning Fear of thunder A child might initially have no reaction to thunder. However, after experiencing a loud thunderstorm that scares them, unconditioned stimulus, leading to fear, the unconditioned response. They might begin to feel afraid conditioned response at the first sound of thunder conditioned stimulus in the future, even if it's not loud. Operant conditioning, identified by B. F. Skinner, is a method of learning that occurs through rewards and punishments for behavior. Through operant conditioning, an association is made between a behavior and a consequence for that behavior. Unlike respondent conditioning, Operant conditioning involves behavior that operates on the environment and is maintained by its consequences. Examples of operant conditioning Training a dog with treats A dog learns to sit behavior because it is followed by the reward of a treat positive reinforcement. Over time, the dog is more likely to sit on command because it has learned that this behavior leads to a desirable outcome. Examples of operant conditioning Studying for good grades A student decides to study hard for their exams, behavior, and, as a result, receives high marks consequence. The positive outcome good grades serves as positive reinforcement, making it more likely that the student will study hard for future exams. Examples of operant conditioning Speeding and tickets A driver speeds behavior and gets fined with a speeding ticket consequence. The ticket serves as a punishment, making it less likely that the driver will speed in the future. Key difference Respondent conditioning Nature of behavior involves involuntary, reflexive behaviors. These are automatic responses to certain stimuli not controlled by the individual's conscious decisions. Stimulus response relationship A neutral stimulus is paired with an unconditioned stimulus that naturally elicits an unconditioned response. Over time, the neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned stimulus that elicits a conditioned response, similar to the unconditioned response. The focus is on the association formed between two stimuli, the conditioned and unconditioned stimuli. However, operant conditioning. Nature of behavior involves voluntary behaviors that are controlled by their consequences. These behaviors are emitted by the individual to achieve certain outcomes or effects in the environment. Stimulus response relationship. The focus is on the behavior and its consequences. Behaviors are strengthened or weakened based on the consequences they produce reinforcement or punishment. Unlike respondent conditioning, operant conditioning involves a three term contingency antecedent, behavior, and consequence. 
Respondent conditioning, classical conditioning, operant conditioning. Summary of difference. Voluntary versus involuntary. Operant conditioning deals with voluntary behaviors that an organism emits to influence its environment, while respondent. Conditioning deals with involuntary, reflexive responses to stimuli. Summary of differences. Role of consequences. In operant conditioning, the consequences of a behavior reinforcement or punishment determine the future likelihood of that behavior occurring again. In respondent conditioning, the pairing of stimuli before the behavior occurs is what's important. And consequences are not the focus. Summary of difference. Focus. Operant conditioning focuses on the behavior itself and its consequences. Respondent conditioning focuses on the pairing of stimuli and the automatic responses elicited. Applying respondent conditioning in EBA. Desensitization programs respondent conditioning can be used to reduce or eliminate phobias and anxieties. For example, gradually exposing an individual to a feared stimulus, like the sound of a vacuum cleaner in a controlled and non-threatening manner, while paired with positive stimuli, like favorite music or toys, can help reduce anxiety related to the feared stimulus. Establishing new preferences by associating neutral or disliked stimuli. With positive experiences, therapists can help individuals develop preferences or tolerances for certain foods, activities, or environments. For instance, Introducing a disliked food alongside highly preferred flavors, or in a highly positive context, can gradually change the individual's response to the food. Applying operant conditioning in EBA. Positive reinforcement. This is one of the most commonly used strategies in EBA. Desired behaviors are followed by a reward to increase the likelihood of those behaviors occurring again. For instance, a child who uses words to request a toy and receives the toy as a result is more likely to use verbal requests in the future. Negative reinforcement, removing an aversive stimulus following a desired behavior to increase that behavior. For example, a child completes a difficult task to avoid a timeout. Completing the task removes the threat of timeout, reinforcing task completion. Punishment applying or removing a stimulus to decrease the likelihood of a behavior. For example, if a child engages in biting, they might lose access to a favorite activity response cost or receive a timeout positive punishment. Applying operant conditioning in EBA. Token economies a system where tokens are earned for engaging in desired behaviors and can later be exchanged for preferred items or activities. This system uses the principles of operant conditioning by reinforcing desired behaviors with secondary reinforcers. Tokens behavioral contracts agreements between the therapist and the individual that clearly outline expectations for behavior and the consequences of meeting or failing to meet these expectations. This strategy uses the principles of operant conditioning by explicitly linking behaviors to their outcomes. Mock Exam 1 Every time John hears his phone's notification sound, he immediately feels a sense of urgency and checks his phone. Over time, this sound alone makes him anxious, even if he's not expecting any important messages. What does this scenario best illustrate? One. Respondent conditioning. 2. Operant conditioning. 3. Respondent behavior. 4. Operant behavior. Correct answer is 1. Respondent conditioning. This scenario exemplifies respondent conditioning because the phone's notification sound. A neutral stimulus becomes associated with a sense of urgency or anxiety, unconditioned response.
leading to an automatic, conditioned response feeling anxious when the sound is heard. Mock Exam 2 Sarah starts doing her homework as soon as she gets home because in the past, completing it early meant she could watch tea for the rest of the evening. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent conditioning. 2. Operant conditioning. 3. Respondent behavior. 4. Operant behavior. Correct answer is 2. Operant conditioning. This scenario is an example of operant conditioning, where Sarah's behavior doing homework early is influenced by its consequences, getting to watch T reinforcing the behavior. Mock Exam 3 After experiencing several painful bee stings in the past, Alex now feels fear and runs away whenever he hears buzzing sounds, even if it's just a harmless fly. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent conditioning. 2. Operant conditioning. 3. Respondent behavior. 4. Operant behavior. Correct answer is 1. Respondent conditioning. Alex's fear and avoidance response to buzzing sounds is an example of respondent conditioning, where the buzzing sound now a conditioned stimulus elicits. A fear response conditioned response due to its past association would be stings, unconditioned stimulus. Mock Exam 4 Every time Lisa cleans her room, her parents give her an extra hour of screen time. As a result, Lisa has started to clean her room more frequently without being asked. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent conditioning. 2. Operant conditioning. 3. Respondent behavior. 4. Operant behavior. Correct answer is 2. Operant conditioning. Lisa's increased frequency of cleaning her room in response to receiving extra screen time exemplifies operant conditioning. Her behavior is shaped by the positive consequences extra screen time, which acts as a reinforcer. Mock Exam 5. Ever since getting sick from eating spoiled seafood, Mark feels nauseous at the smell of any seafood. Preventing him from trying dishes he used to enjoy. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent conditioning. 2. Operant conditioning. 3. Respondent behavior. 4. Operant behavior. Correct answer is 1. Respondent conditioning. The scenario demonstrates respondent conditioning where the smell of seafood conditioned stimulus elicits nausea. Conditioned response due to its past association with illness, unconditioned stimulus and response. Mock exam 6. Every spring when Jasmine smells the scent of blooming flowers, she sneezes uncontrollably. A reaction that developed after years of dealing with seasonal allergies. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent behavior. 2. Operant behavior. 3. Respondent conditioning. 4. Operant conditioning. Correct answer is 1. Respondent behavior. Jasmine sneezing in response to the smell of blooming flowers is an automatic reaction to a specific stimulus characteristic of respondent behavior, which is involuntary, 
and elicited by preceding stimuli. Mock Exam 7. Tim gets a sticker every time he completes his homework on time. Soon he starts doing his homework immediately after school to collect more stickers. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent behavior. 2. Operant behavior. 3. Respondent conditioning. 4. Operant conditioning. Correct answer is 4. Operant conditioning. Tim's behavior of completing homework to receive stickers is shaped by the consequences of his actions, showcasing operant conditioning, where behaviors are modified based on reinforcement stickers in this case. Mock Exam 8. Every time Nora hears a loud noise, she flinches. This reaction developed early in childhood after a loud firework display startled her. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent behavior. 2. Operant behavior. 3. Respondent conditioning. 4. Operant conditioning. Correct answer is 3. Respondent conditioning. Nora's flinching in response to loud noises is a conditioned response to a specific stimulus, which developed through respondent conditioning. The loud noise serves as a conditioned stimulus linked to the automatic response of flinching, a process established through past experience with the fireworks. Mock Exam 9 Mark learns to say please when asking for something because his requests are more likely to be granted when he does. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent behavior. 2. Operant behavior. 3. Respondent conditioning. 4. Operant conditioning. Correct answer is 2. Operant behavior. March's use of please when making requests is an example of operant behavior because it's a voluntary action that is influenced by the consequences of being more likely to have his requests granted. Mock Exam 10. Every summer, when Clara hears the ice cream truck's familiar tune, she immediately feels happy and reminisces about her childhood summers filled with ice cream. What does this scenario best illustrate? 1. Respondent behavior. 2. Operant behavior. 3. Respondent conditioning. 4. Operant conditioning. Correct answer is 3. Respondent conditioning. Clara's automatic feeling of happiness upon hearing the ice cream truck's tune is a conditioned response to a conditioned stimulus the tune developed through respondent conditioning based on her past positive experiences with ice cream in the summer. That's all today. Hope you understand better about respondent and operant conditioning. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.